Well, good afternoon to everybody. It is an amazing, hot, sunny Saturday here in the UK. Glorious biking weather. And even more glorious for finishing work a bit early, two o'clock, to come home and fit my entire exhaust system as per my previous videos. And uh, I ordered slightly longer stainless steel um, header studs because I'd replaced my header studs originally, my stock ones, with stainless steel, and basically I bought them too short. They were okay on the standard headers, although the nuts weren't fully engaged, but they were good enough. But the Stratus headers have thick collars on them, and it was a very close run thing, so I decided to do it properly and buy proper length stainless header studs which turned up today so I was able to get the whole system on. I've put some pictures on this video just for people to have a look at these silencers and so on. I know to a great extent I'm preaching to the converted and I have no pretensions here that I am breaking new ground with some revolutionary idea like my rectifier cables. Yes, give credit where it's due. But I know lots of people have done this However, I haven't done it before. So bearing in mind from on my previous videos, I had said I am absolutely happy with this stock exhaust system. In fact, I was even looking for a spare one on eBay. But learning curve as things are, I've realized that uh, getting rid of the stock system is a good thing to do. So these pictures show the entire system on. To be honest, to fit the, the whole system, it's probably a 20 minute job. It, the, the, the Stratus headers are so precise in the way they're manufactured, and they go, the collars, the retaining collars go straight onto the header studs, you know, no oval shaped holes to give error, you know, room for margin for error. Um, it's just, it just goes straight on. And as I said in my previous videos, replacing the anti-vibration mounts, it's a piece of cake. It, it, it really is to use the originals. So if you are going to buy a Stratus, sorry about this, Luke, but I would just use your standard rubbers out of your anti-vibration mounts on the standard headers because it is not at all difficult to put them in. So, yeah, about a 20-minute job. The... Stratus headers and AEW TE102 cans. As I mentioned in my previous video, the headers have got a bevel at the end of the pipe, which is really good. And uh, the cans just slip straight on. No exhaust paste necessary, no, um, you know, the, the sort of graphite gaskets or anything like that. And as you can see from the photos above, the clamp is hidden behind that piece of trim, which is part, a stainless trim, which is part of the can itself, welded on, very precise. And I used a small amount of exhaust paste on the copper gaskets that were supplied with the Stratus headers, just a little bit. In the past, I've put copper gaskets on with other exhaust systems, and then you hear that sort of hissing leak and um, I didn't fancy that this time so I removed the old gaskets the instructions that come with the Stratus headers say you can leave your old gaskets in if they're in good condition I preferred not to do that and I covered it in a previous video on just how to use a you know a, a pointed implement carefully and it's possible to get those um, original gaskets out which I think makes the pipe sit better. I know they're only a couple of mil but it still puts everything out a couple of mil. So everything went straight on, no messing. Um, put the new, head, uh, the new header studs in. I always put anti-seize on them. I, I presume people watching this video you'll be familiar with the nightmare that removing stock header studs can be. I did it on an XJR 1300 and two Yamaha XS 1100s. Of course, you've got eight studs on a four-cylinder. You know, seven come out and then the eighth shears off. In the case of the XJR, it sheared off with about 
three mil, maybe even two mil sticking out. And, that, and it had already started to move. I thought, great, they're all coming out. They're all turning, but no. And then it sheared. So not for the faint hearted. I ended up having to use Franken welder and welding a nut on the end of this tiny bit sticking out. The heat is what enabled it to come out, I think, but thankfully it came out. So um, I've already done it on the Enfield because when I got it, um, it was only two years old, 4,000 miles, and one of the header studs was really badly corroded. So I bit the bullet and did it. And I use anti-seize on them, uh, aluminium anti-seize on the threads, and they my two short ones came straight out, no problem, and my longer ones went straight in. And then it's just a case of putting everything on loosely, getting the can on, on its bracket loosely, and then just tightening up the, the clamp on the head, um, evenly either side. Now I am absolutely delighted with these. The finish is fantastic. Stratus are straight through, no horrible welds inside like on the stock ones, subject of a previous video, straight through. And the AEW cans, uh, you can't fault them, they're, they're, they're absolutely amazing. They're just, the production quality is really, really good. Um, I can't praise them enough really. And the clamp at the back, the, the hanging bracket, you know, lines up, everything just slotted straight on probably 20 minutes if you if you you know if you fancy timing yourself not to be advised but i think i took about half an hour for the two and i've just fired the bike up and let it run for 15 minutes um people have said that the ecu will sort of recalibrate itself based on the change in the exhaust system if you let it sort of tick over for 15 minutes so that's exactly what i've done and as you can see in this picture here, the Lambda sensors, you know, they fit straight in where they should. I would strongly advise removing the block terminals. They're, they're accessible without taking the tank off, um, but taking the tank off makes everything easier, of course, under there, but they can be removed, unplugged, without taking the tank off. Then you're not turning the Lambda sensor through about six or seven rotations and twisting those very fine wires. So I think it's, uh, the instructions from Stratus Headers said to do that. Not advisable in my opinion, because you'll just turn your wires into a sort of twist. So there you have it. The pipes are beginning to go a sort of straw yellow. I've not given it a road test yet. Um, I'll be doing a separate video for that. One thing I did notice, well a couple of things actually, um, Pushing it out the garage backwards, as I have to do, up a, a slight incline, I was struck immediately by how l much lighter the bike was. It was a lot easier pushing the bike, sitting on it and pushing it backwards with the new system on. That was noticeable. The other thing I've noticed, which is quite, uh, shows its breathing, I suppose, is that I stood 10 feet behind the bike with the engine running um, and you can feel little puffs of sound wave hitting you, um, sort of in the middle of my chest or face, or you could just get this little, as if something just puffing in your face. That was from a good 10 feet away. The initial sound at tick over is slightly louder on my own scale of 0 to 10. I would say it's probably um, a 1 for the tick over. I've not actually really revved it because um, I think you're supposed to let it tick over so I've done that and I'll be taking the bike out for a proper run and see what develops now just for people that haven't seen my previous videos or fell asleep during them or thought oh no it's him again and scrolled on um, the Stratus headers they're AEW T102 brush stainless I bought the Stratus headers obviously in the UK with next day delivery. I bought the AEW silencers. I'd been quoted 300 quid for them, including shipping. I bought the exact same ones for £237.50, including shipping. And they were sent from India by an eBay seller with excellent feedback rating. I'm gonna put a link, uh, not a link, I'm gonna put a little video, uh, picture in a minute of my 
transaction. Um, so just to reiterate what I said in my last video, he's, he's got them on at 250 or best offer. Um, won't take daft offers, obviously. But he's basically what he's said is if anybody orders on eBay and in the message field, makes an offer on eBay, that is, and in the message field put slick five, then you get 5% off. So you get them for 237.50, like I did after much haggling. I made several offers, in fact, rather insulting ones, really. I regret that. Um, so if you, if you are struck by how wonderful these cans are to look at, um, and I'll give a, a video um, of what they like to run and the sound and so on, if you, if you think, well, oh, I quite fancy a pair of them, then this is the guy. It took six days from ordering to arriving and the packaging, it took longer, seriously took longer to remove the packaging and protective film and stuff from the cans than it did to fit the entire system, including the headers. I'm deadly serious there. It's cling film and cardboard and foam, which is great. So they came all that way from India, arrived in six days, no import duty. The seller in that um, photo I just put there um, will facilitate as far as he can not having import duty. Certainly did with me. So I'm delighted with them. I shall post another video with a road test and don't forget there's going to be a dissection of the stock system. I'm going to slice it in half to find out what's in the thing and how it's made. So it might be a bit sacrilegious to those people who like the standard system, but they do appear to be valueless. People have commented in previous videos that they've thrown them in the scrap heap. And uh, they're not sellable, I don't think. Maybe in 30 years' time, when everybody wants to put the bikes back and says, oh, look, classic, it's original. Uh, I don't think I'll be around then. So I'm slicing mine in half. So there you have it. I'm very, very pleased. And I thank you to everybody that... Uh, made their input via comments in my previous video asking for what people thought. I'm, I'm really pleased but uh, I'm going to do a little video later with uh, my thoughts on the actual sound when running the bike and how it feels but initial findings as it were are looks great, really light, really easy to fit. Um, so I'm going to take it out for a spin and I will post a little video later on today. In the meantime, if you're out having a little spin, uh, make sure you keep it shiny side up. Don't spin too much. And uh, I will post back later on. Bye for now.